A Pipkin of Pepper by Helen Cooper for the pumpkin soup. A Pipkin of Pepper. Something was bubbling in the old white cabin. What was in the cooking pot? Pumpkin soup made by a cat, a squirrel, and a duck waiting just for a pipkin of salt to make it the best you ever tasted. But... There's no salt left, quacked the duck. They'd run clean out, it was true. There wasn't a grain, not a speckle of salt to put into the pumpkin soup. Would it still be the best you ever tasted? No! The cat said, I'm going shopping. Oh, please, begged the duck. Let me come too. But the duck hadn't been to the city before, and he had a habit of wandering off. What if you get lost? The cat meowed. I won't, squawked the duck, and if I do, I'll tell a police dog. You'll never find a police dog, yelled the cat. If you're ever lost, said the squirrel, the best thing to do is stay where you are and we'll find you. Better yet, don't get lost at all, said the cat. It was time to catch the bus. Can I go, pleaded the duck. Can I go, he said. And he wiggled and wheedled and bobbed and begged until the cat said, all right, if you promise to hold on tight. And I'll come too, said the squirrel, and hold on to you. Do you think that duck will wander off? I hope not. But the duck felt scared when he first saw the city. It was very big and very busy. He stared at the stores and the towers and quacked. Let's buy that salt and go straight back. Hold on tight, said the squirrel. The salt shop isn't far from here. And the cat led them past more towers and more stores selling all sorts of things, puddings and pastries, pilchards and prawns, lobsters and light bulbs pizza and pepper and that gave the duck a clever idea wouldn't it be fine he murmured if we bought some pepper for the pumpkin soup i bet it would taste hmm pepper plus salt delicious he quacked can we buy some pepper pepper squeaked the squirrel. We won't need that. There's the salt shop, said the cat. We have a job to do and we don't want to miss the bus back. Hmm. A pipkin of pepper. More pepper for the pumpkin soup. More pepper, yum pepper, a pipkin of pepper for the pumpkin soup. But the duck wasn't even listening. He was thinking about pepper for the pumpkin soup. Would one pipkin be quite enough? He turned around to ask, but... The others had gone. Lost, quacked the duck. I'm lost in the city. He scuttled off in a terrible tizzy. Inside the salt shop, the cat and the squirrel were busily buying a small bag of salt. They didn't even notice that the duck was missing until the salt was paid for and packed. Where can he be, howled the cat. And the squirrel wailed, where did we see him last? At the pepper shop, they shouted together, and they hurried back. Wait, look over there. But the 
Poor Duck was lost in the crowd. He couldn't even find the pepper shop now. He collided with a kind mother hen. Are you lost? She clucked. Yes, bawled the duck. I can't find my friends. Where did you see them last? Asked the hen. At the pepper shop, sniffed the duck. And I should have waited there till they came back, but I forgot. I know the shop, said the hen, and the pepper dog might have seen your friends. Let's go and ask him. I hope cat and squirrel stay in one place. A cat and a squirrel, said the pepper dog. They just left by the other door. I'll never see them again, wailed the duck. And nothing would cheer him up. Not even a drink, not even a snack, not even a packet of pepper. He likes that pepper. Police, we have a lost duck situation. Hush, said the hen. We've dialed 911. Any minute now, they'll come right through that door. And pretty soon, through that door came six police dogs with megaphones, Four helpful fire dogs, two foxes who left rather quickly, and calling cat and squirrel, cat and squirrel. At last, the squirrel and the cat. The duck was so pleased to see them, the cat wasn't cross and the squirrel didn't scold, even though they'd missed the last bus. Who needs a bus, quacked the duck. We've got a police dog to fly us home. The cat and the squirrel were very happy. They had their salt for the pumpkin soup. As for duck, he had his packet of pepper. He held it tightly all the way back. Home again in the old white cabin, pumpkin soup in the cooking pot. Made by the cat who slices up the pumpkin. Made by the squirrel who stirs in the water. Made by the duck who tips in a pipkin of salt and a pipkin of pepper. Oh no, a packet of pepper. Would the soup still be the best you ever tasted? Ah, chew, delicious. A pipkin of pepper, Helen Cooper, for the pumpkin soup.